Hey man, it's your boy DRJ man. We're back with another video with you guys today, man. Today we're gonna be doing the uh reaction to the post game between the Ravens and that. We're gonna see what Joe Burrow wants to say, you know what I'm saying? Just to get in tune, but let's get straight to the video, man. Do or die football. Let's turn it up a little bit. Okay, that's all the way up. Alrighty, let's get back to it. Yeah, that's what it looks like. You know, whenever you play a divisional team for the third time, it's it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be ugly. All that matters is you come out with a win. What's going through your mind during that that Sam Hubbard play? That <laughs> Run faster, Sam. Go, <laughs> get there. Y'all can see, you know what I'm saying? Big, got the big. 98 yard longest playoff run, man. Let's get back to the video. He actually did look pretty fast, surprisingly. You think faster than your 20 miles per hour? I don't know about that one. <laughs> uh, it's crazy, no, it's 20 miles per hour. I don't know right now what the severity is, but if it's not, if he's not able to play against the Bills, potentially three starters, what would you say to those who question if you guys are going to be able to overcome that many injuries on the offense? We have a lot of faith in in those guys. You know, Max stepped up today, Akeem stepped up today, and then Jackson stepped up when he got his got in there, you know, after Jonah got hurt. So we have a lot of faith in those guys. They're gonna get their job done. What does uh, Hubbard mean to the defense and the team as a whole? No, he's really one of the leaders of the team and you you know he's recognized as a captain and so he's kind of what this whole thing is built on. Toughness, hard work, leadership. Mm -hmm. you know, You're those right. Those are the kind You're of guys right. we try to bring in here and you know it's He's one of my best friends, and he comes up with big plays over and over and over again. He's a great leader, gets his work done, constant positive attitude in the locker room, exactly the kind of guy you want on your team. Joe, yes, sir. this defense do this over and over again this year. I'm curious, when you're watching on the sideline and they're marching down the field, are you expecting them almost at this point that are going to make a play? Yeah, you do, but at the same time, in your own head, you're expecting them not to because – you know, you're trying to get yourself ready to go out there and make plays. Uh, so I always expect them to, to make And that's one thing about the Bengals. They cannot stop the Ravens, you know what I'm saying, run game this game due to they played them like three times straight, once, twice, and then down for the playoffs. So I know, understand where he's coming from, you know what I'm saying. Now we got to see how we're going to do with the Bills because we was beating the Bills until DeMar Hamlin got hurt. So there's a lot of, you know what I'm saying, a lot of words being said that the Bills going to beat us. Uh, I just want to see a great, clean game. I don't want nobody getting hurt. That's for both sides. Um, but let's get back to it. Make the kind of plays that they do in those big moments, but I'm always ready as well. How so stressful, they made a commitment how stressful is that watching when they're driving? Yeah. Well, it's playoff football. That's what it's all about. You, know, you try to try to keep your cool and – you know, trust your guys to, to do their jobs. They made a commitment. They weren't going to have you throw anything longer than 18 yards. Uh, and, and, uh, do you think they – I mean, usually they pop a blitz or something, but it seemed like they just stayed pretty constant. I mean, is that – They mixed the, mix the blitz in here or there. You know, you got to give them credit. They're really good on defense. You know, they got – they understand their scheme. They mix up their coverages. They mix up their blitzes. They're good on good up front. Um, it's really good defense, one of the best in the league. Did they change it? Yep, one of the best. And the 49ers got one of the best defense in the league, bro. So hopefully the Bengals can get past Buffalo Bills. They just mix they just mix it up. Mix up their coverages, mix up their pressures, mix up their fronts, they make it tough on you. Yes, sir. On the Hubbard play, I mean, what about the play by Pratt and Wills Pratt sort of stood Huntley up and, and Wilson drifted like, that's a tough play. Dude. Yeah, so I, I haven't even seen the whole play yet. I just saw Sam running down the field, but <laughs> I'm sure. I'm obviously, you know, guys stepped up and made plays when, when their number was called and got us the win. Yes, sir. Um, I don't, I have not, no. <laughs> I don't plan on it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Joe, it's obviously hard to win in the playoffs, and you know that. Uh, just how satisfying is it to be able to pull out another win and keep this thing going. Yeah, it's, it's very satisfying, especially when you play a team like that that is so good at what they do. Uh, you know, come out with a win, being a divisional team for 
for the Hold on, y'all. I don't know why this shit. Brightness went down. Back up Second time in two weeks is, is always tough. Well, those shots just have five minutes. Yeah. Those guys on the other side. So, big win for us. Did you ever think about after that, that your first game against Baltimore? I mean, how much have you, did you think about that at all? So many times you played them coming into this week. How much has that ever crossed your mind? Well, you throughout the week of, of practice, you recall all the stuff that they've done to you over the years, in in all the games that you've played them, because you know they can throw it out at any moment. Uh, so you just call upon all those reps. I mean, this is the first time in franchise history y'all won playoff games. We're in a great spot. We got, you know, great leaders in the locker room. Zach puts us in, all in, in the right mindset and in great positions to, to go and succeed. And we have the utmost faith in each other to go and make plays to win the game. Yeah, I mean, really, we had three possessions in the first half, and we scored on two of them. And then we come out of a out of halftime and score a touchdown on on our first possession in the second half. And then after that, I think we got three possessions and, and didn't come out with any points. So we got we got to finish the game better. But uh, you know, that first half was really good, and the, the first drive of the second half is really good. How big was uh, Jamar today? It felt like when the offense was coming up with two catches and drives. Yeah, I mean, Jamar is a great player, one of the best, and so. I'm always going to try to find him. Is there something about this team, Joe, that doesn't panic when things are kind of falling apart? At the end of the first half, there were plenty of opportunities to go. Woe is us, but it seemed like you guys collected yourself. Let him finish his last one and stop the video, y'all. Yeah. Right after halftime. Yeah, there's never any panic. You know, we've been in these spots before. We've been in these big moments. Understand that we have guys that are going to go make plays in, in moments like that. and So that gives us a lot of faith to just stay within ourselves, do our jobs, and Come out with W's. Alrighty, man. Y'all heard the man, Joe Burrow, man, like he always say, man. But I want to let you guys know, look, man. We just hit. Hey, man, it's your boy, DRJ, man. It's not my fault. We just hit 675 subs, by the way. Just to let you guys know. So come check out my channel. Get us to the road to. You already know what I mean. But look, man. Like I always tell y'all, man. Hold on. Like I always say to y'all, hit that like, comment, subscribe, man. It's like y'all always say, we'll see you.